Hello friends! Today we're going to look into the basic functions of sketches within Fusion 360. This concept may seem a little unintuitive for those who are used to a mesh-based program like Mesh Mixer or Tinkercad, but with a bit of practice you'll find it's rather easy to use. Let's open Fusion. At first glance, Fusion can be a little intimidating, but don't worry, we're going to work it step by step. Before we can use any tools on the top toolbar, we need to make our sketch. We do so by clicking the sketch button. Now we have to choose the plane on which we will draw our sketch. Fusion provides us with three planes that correlate with the three different axes. Initially, it doesn't matter which one you choose. Once we've chosen our axis, you'll see another window pop up called the sketch palette. Here you can change a few settings, but most importantly is the look at button. Click that and you'll see that Fusion will square us up with our plane. Here you can draw simple shapes. You'll notice as you draw these shapes, Fusion gives you the option to input specific dimensions. Once you've input one, you can push tab to switch to the next. You'll see a little lock icon appear showing that dimension is now locked. You can unlock it by pressing the escape button. Most tools in the Create tab have other options as well. For the rectangle, you can choose two point, three point, or center. If you choose one and decide you want to change it, you can do so within the sketch palette window. While sketching, you'll notice a few symbols that may appear. Let's discuss a few of those. Parallel symbol will appear when two lines are parallel. You can tell Fusion which line you're trying to get parallel with by touching your cursor to that line and getting close to the parallel direction. A triangle will appear when you hover over the middle of a line. This is showing the halfway mark of that line, which you can snap to when adding another line or shape. Fusion will also snap to right angles and display the right angle symbol. You can override this by inputting a specified angle. Sometimes you'll find that lines are getting in the way and causing issues with the selection of certain profiles. We can solve this by making those lines construction lines. We do this by highlighting the specific line and pressing X. You'll notice that this line now goes from solid to dotted. This line is now for reference use only and won't interfere with your shape. Now that we've made a profile, we can finish the sketch. Once finished, we can highlight our profile and use the extrude button to make it three dimensional. Now if we were to press the create sketch button again, we can start on any flat surface of that shape and the cycle continues. That was just a small look into the sketch menu within Fusion. There are many more tools than what we covered today, but this will at least get you started. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Hell yeah, dude.